All right, so on this one, they give us a clothing business, finds there's a linear relationship, shirts, it can sell price, um, thousand shirts, uh, historical, historical data shows that a thousand shirts can be sold, it can make the price 22. But if you lower the price down to $6 for a shirt, you, you can sell more shirts, 3,000 bucks, uh, 3,000 shirts, sorry, uh, at $6 a shirt. So they want us to come up with an equation. Well, what, what's going on here really is we have two points. And the two points are, a thousand comma twenty two, so a thousand comma twenty two. That's the number of shirts, which is um, in in shirts, and P is the price, twenty two dollars a shirt, or three thousand shirts, right at six dollars a shirt. Okay, so those are really two points. We know how to handle two points. Step one: get the new slope formula, which is. Oh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the new slope formula. Whoops, not what I meant to do. And um, so plug that stuff in. So this is like x1, y1, x2, y2. So we do, the, uh, do these two in the top, y2 minus y1. So six minus 22 over X2 minus X1. 3,000 minus 1,000. We divide that in your calculator, you're gonna get minus six, respect it in the calculator, minus 16 over 2,000. Oops. And then just divide that. So I just subtracted, got minus 16, this is 2,000. And then just divide that in your calculator. So minus 16 divided by 2,000 you'll get minus 0 0.008. We'll just get that decimal. Just divide it on your calculator. So we got that slope now. So that's step one, get your slope. And then step number two, we're gonna use the old slope form. What's the old slope form? It says slope equals, it's almost the same as the other one, except it's got a little bit of difference here. It is, um, Plain Y in the front. And hey, Mr. Y Heron. In the front. Yeah. My calculator is not giving me the decimal. Okay, I can help you after. It's just simply divide. Just 16 divided by 2,000 or whatever that's you're right. I, I did. I did 36 divided by 9,000 because that's mine. And, and it gave me 1 over 250 or 4X 10 to the third power, negative 3 power. I got an answer similar to his. Yeah. Do you have a Casio calculator? Yes. And I pressed the <laughs> SD button. And that's yeah, what it's keep pressing me. the SD button several times till you get a decimal. Yeah, nothing's happening. It's just switching back from the two. So so mm -hmm. what did it give you? It says 4x 10 to the third power like that or, or like yeah. that alexander yeah or was but it the, minus but three? 10 but and it's minus three and the 10 is really small right right can i, I got can you I show you mine on the on the video can i okay hold on let, let me finish okay. this first okay and um and and then I'll help with that. You're you're in a you're in a what what was the two numbers? You're in a different mode in your calculator. What what were the two numbers you divided again? Thirty six divided by nine thousand. Thirty six divided by nine thousand. Yeah yeah. So um, your calculator, if it's showing you that, you're in a fun. You're in scientific notation mode. So you need to reset your calculator so it doesn't do that. I can help you with that after I finish this lecture. Okay. It, it, it's in a funny mode. All right, so then let's grab this slope. So now we write the old slope formula and then we plug the stuff in. So we plug in, in step three, plug in the slope, which is equal to negative 0 0.008. I'm gonna plug that in on the left side for slope. And then the first point, it, you can do the first point or the second point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it'll work either way. I know that probably doesn't sound like it's true, but it is. Uh, so the first point up here is a thousand comma twenty-two. 
you could do that one or the other one, 1,000 comma 22. Then remember that was the X1, Y1. So uh, I'm gonna plug that in back here. You know, the 1,000 the goes there, cause that's X1. And the 22 goes there, cause that's Y1. So uh, what do we get then? The slope is negative point, let's get a little more room here. Negative point oh oh eight equals, and uh, y minus over x minus, and then and we got our 22 and our 1,000, like that. All right, and so we're to there. All right, we've been here before. We know what to do, right? You multiply when you have a fraction with an equal sign. You multiply both sides by the LCD over one. So I'm gonna multiply by X minus a thousand over one. And then the other side as well, like that. So um, the other side by X minus a thousand. So both sides by X minus a thousand over one. Okay, and then it cross cancels here. Step five. Whoops, camel. Cross cancel. Multiply leftovers. So over here they cross cancel, and we just have y minus twenty two. On the other side, I'm going to multiply these guys. So it'll be it'll be what? It'll be minus point oh oh eight x. And then when this, so this ne negative point 008 goes to the X and then to the minus thousand eight times eight is gonna be positive. And it'll be eight, just like that. The, the point 008 times a thousand will become positive eight. The two negatives make positive and it's just eight. And uh, last step, <clears throat> just solve, solve for, uh, get, get Y alone. Y alone, so that means just add 22 to both sides like that, boom, boom, boom. So y equals minus 0.008x plus 30. Eight and 22 makes 30. And there we go, we got y alone. Now careful, the answer, they don't want y and x. You notice up here, they say that they want p equals mn plus b. They have p here, well, how do we do that? Well, notice, that's, that's really simple. Notice the, um, Right here, X is in, right? We, you know, the, the in shirts was in the X spot and P is Y. So X is in, P is Y. Right there in my original setup. See, right in the beginning, I wrote 1,022. That was number of shirts price. That was X, Y. So X is in, P is Y. X is in, P is Y. So then we just go down here. We go, okay. Uh, X is in, so this will be minus 0 0.008 N, and Y is P. So we just change it like that at the very end. X becomes N, Y becomes P. There's the equation they want. We got P alone. It's minus and, and minus 0 0.008 N plus 30. There we go. That's what we type in.